The next drills that we have here are in our dynamic section. Uh, uh, this is a one-step drill that you're about to see here. Uh, these are high-level drills, so you want to make sure that your athlete has uh, been prepared to do this. Now, a great way to do this is this. For a novice athlete, you want to make sure that the hurdles are if it's a, a, a female, it's 27 inches, uh, maybe to start, uh, and, and 30 inches to, to graduate from there to race in height. If it's a male, you probably should start on 36 inches and graduate to 39 inches and maybe progress as a, a high-level athlete to 42 inches. Now, these isolation drills that we use all the time really can help in development of the technique. And you can see as a coach the kind of the flaws that they may have that they may be having and you can clean them up in this in this in this area by isolating them. The first drill we'll do is the one step lead leg drill. Uh, you'll see Christy come through. What I really look for is them to be come on through Christy. I look for them to be very dynamic off the ground. I look for that, that lead leg to really come through nice and, and fast and for them to really be mimicking and mocking the action that of a, a hurdle race. Uh, by doing these drills in such, a, in, in such a condensed fashion, it allows me to see any technical flaws that they may be having. I can, I can have them slow it down if they, they're moving too fast. I can have them speed it up, I think, if they can go faster. If you want them to speed it up and they've outgrown a certain spacing, then you can always put more spacing in here. This spacing, for me, I wear a size 10 shoes, are probably about 10 uh, heel to toe strides of my shoe. So in setting up the drill, you can always do 10 heel to toes in this fashion, so on and so forth, through the hurdle. Uh, because you may not have time to bring a lot of uh, equipment out to the track. Now, if it's a novice hurdler, you want to maybe bring, you maybe want to use six or seven of your, of your shoes to kind of get them started with a, at a lower height, male or female, to get them going on this drill. Okay? Now, we'll move from uh, the lead leg drill to the trail leg drill. Now, the trail leg drill is just the same as the lead leg drill. You want to make sure that the athlete is bringing that trail leg all the way around. They're nice and focused on that. As you can kind of see here, using those arms. The power in getting off the back of the hurdle is this in the trail leg. So we want to make sure that they're not coming down and they're not dropping the trail leg. You might ask me, Coach, what do you mean dropping the trail leg? Well, typically you'll see some athletes and the trail leg will get here and you'll see it just close down like this. What you want to, be, what you want to see is that the hurdle come around here and they finish nice and tight so they can get a nice push off the back of the hurdle, okay? You don't want them just dropping down, coming around, and just dropping because they have no velocity to get to the next hurdle. 